God and his name is Allah He's the only one, the merciful mm. I want to testify That our final messenger is Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ahmadullah Azza wa Jal Hamdan طيبا كثيرا مباركا فيه رب الأولين ورب الآخرين وأشهد أن نبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله سيد الأولين والآخرين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah the compassion the merciful the Lord of all people from the time of Adam until the last person on earth and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad who is the master of all people from the time of Adam until the last person on earth and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his family his companions and his followers all until the day of resurrection I welcome you to this episode of our series renewal of faith well we already talked about the importance of renewing your faith and we know that a body which is not functioning what very well is really being affected by what is inside the heart because we know the heart is the king and the master of the body and all the body parts do follow the heart whatever the heart does then they will follow suit whatever the heart commands then the body parts will be responding uh, to what the command would be from the heart in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam he said أَلَا وَإِنَّ فِي الْجَسَدِ مُضْغَةً إِذَا صَلَحَتْ صَلَحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ أَلَا وَهِيَ الْقَلْبِ In the body, there is one small piece of flesh, just like a chew that you have in your, your mouth. Very small, very small. And if it's good, then the rest of the body is good. If it is bad, then the rest of the body is bad. Yes, because Iman and faith is in the heart. And if it's fresh and strong, obviously this will reflect on the body. If it is bad and terrible, then this will be affecting your body. A Muslim is supposed to increase the Iman. And remember, there is a difference between Iman and Islam. In Surat uh, Al-Hujurat Allah the Almighty says قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّ The tribal Arabs in, at the time of the Prophet peace be upon him around Medina they said we believed and Allah says قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّ قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُونَ Tell them or say to them O Muhammad you have not believed وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا And say, we have only submitted, we have only accepted Islam. وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ And Iman hasn't come inside your heart yet. Because Iman is a second layer. Yes, we do have Islam as first layer. And if we are Muslims, then we are within the folds of the Muslim community. We believed, uh, we, 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 we have the testimony of, of entering Islam, the word La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, which when recognized will get us into the folds of Muslims and the folds of Islam. Yet Iman is a, is a second layer and it is really going to have that Iman being motivated and being active to do certain things that are good for a person in life. So, in this respect, we will say that 
what, what are some of the things that will, will help us increase the Iman, strengthen what is inside our hearts in order to show um, this in life and to be strong enough to face challenges and to deal with things in the positive sense because we do have the faith inside and we are ready to meet the challenges no matter what these challenges would be of course now let's say that what we need to do is as I mentioned earlier is the remembrance of Allah and we already explained that but the second thing is the recitation of the glorious Quran the glorious Quran was given to us as a gift from Allah it's a guide it's a light that will show us the right direction it will show us what is good and what is bad what is true and what is false what is uh, good and will lead us into the right path and what is bad which will lead us into uh, the evil and terrible way Quran is full of knowledge it tells us about the past and what the stories of, of uh, earlier nations and will tell us about the future what will take place uh, for a person in this life and what will take place on the day of judgment what would be the destiny for human beings who will be uh, in this life classified into three categories believers non-believers and hypocrites and on the day of judgment there will be only two people who will be going into paradise and people who will be going into hellfire now it is important for us to read the glorious Quran read it and contemplate on it if a person doesn't have any share of the glorious Quran doesn't read the Quran on a daily basis that heart is going to be stiff and will not be soft to receive the light from the Almighty it will be so dry so dark and unless we feed it it's just like the energy that was put in there to give us the light and the light will show and it will be illuminating our lives and give us happiness tranquility because unless you know the 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 amanu as Allah says in the glorious Quran those who believe and their hearts are being tranquil by the remembrance of Allah and who what is the best remembrance the best remembrance is to recite the glorious Quran and verily or indeed there would be a peace of mind and tranquility by for the hearts by the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need the glorious Quran on a daily basis in fact if a day passes without being connected with the Quran first through the Salah through the morning remembrances because we recite even some surahs or part of surahs or even some dua which is taken from the glorious Quran within our dhikr in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala morning and night or morning and evening but even we need to have some time even when we are busy with life we can take the time that is available at our hands even if we don't have the time except to repeat some of the small chapters of the glorious Quran by heart even if it's Qul huwa Allahu ahad, even this short, shu, shu, uh, sh, short surah or chapter of the glorious Quran but it has a great and tremendous meaning that's why this surah is is equal to the third of the glorious Quran because it emphasizes the oneness of the of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the description of Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's that's why 
repeating this surah, reading any part of the glorious Quran is going to give us rewards, going to bless our day, bless our life, and is going to increase our iman. That's, that's the most important thing, is that you feed your iman with recitation of the glorious Quran. Now I know that some Muslims do have copies of the Quran, but for their own misfortune, if I may say, they will just keep the a copy of the Quran just in the car or sitting in the corner of, of the room or inside their mobile as, as an application, but they rarely go back to this. They rarely, uh, you know, consult with the glorious Quran, come in contact with the glorious Quran. We need to live by the Quran on a daily basis. Of course, the best thing is to memorize the whole Quran. You cannot, for some reason, because you're uh, not able to, because it's not your language and you're having difficulty doing it. Remember, any difficulty you have when reciting the glorious Quran is going to be rewarded tremendously. Al-Mahiru ma'al Quran, Al-Mahiru bil Quran ma'al safarat al-kiram al If you are very skill, skillful in, in recitation, then obviously you are joining the angels in the uh, companionship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who are very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِي يَقْرَأُ الْقُرْآنُ وَهُوَ عَلَيْهِ شَقْءٍ لَهُ أَجْرًا If you struggle when reciting the glorious Qur'an, you have two rewards, one for reading and one for struggle. But never stop the uh, attempt to read the Qur'an, even if you have difficulty with it, even if it doesn't come as smooth as you see it with the recitations of the uh, very famous reciters of the glorious Qur'an, whether this is being from Egypt, from Saudi Arabia, from um, Pakistan, from anywhere in the world. We need to, to, to consult the glorious Qur'an, we need to uh, read it at all times in order to refresh our hearts to feed the heart with it and to live by it because there are so many good things in there, instructions for us to live by the Quran and the more we contemplate, the more we understand, the better it will be and it will enlighten our lives. That is the most important thing, that is going to increase your Iman and is going to raise the level of Iman up and up. May Allah increase us in Iman, may He uh, give us the time and effort to recite the glorious Quran at all times in order to enjoy life under the shades of the Quran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to testify that we have one God and his name is Allah. He's the only one, the merciful. Mm. I want to testify that our final messenger is Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.